All right, cup of tea, Bob? Yeah, please. Yes? Who drank tea in the day? Anyone? Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah, Surely morning. you weren't drinking tea at the SCG. For breakfast. No, I didn't, not here. All right, so how many years of friendship are we talking here? We played Jersey Flag together in 1961. 59. 59 years. years, that's when you first came across each other. Mm. So, Bob, what made Ron such a, a wonderful player of your era? People thought, because he was tall and lean, that he wasn't strong, but he was a panel beater. Mm. In those days, there was no machines. He was building his arms up, and he had, <laughs> he had, a, big, he had a big fan, like Greg Inglis. Plus, he had the big, being so tall, he had the big stride, and he was very quick. It was hard to sort of get hold of, like, I don't know, those, what do they call those, those little insects? The brain mantis. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn now. What was Bobby like as a, as a player and as a teammate? Oh, Bobby was a great player and a great teammate. And, he, and many of the time he's, he's, um, he, he's won the game for South with a runaway try, which he used to do. And, uh, you know, he was a big man and, he, and he, could, he could run really fast. I remember plenty of tries on the cricket ground here that he, that he scored and, you know, the grand final in... What year was that, Maggie? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Don't yeah, rub it in. 71. 71, that's he set me up in 71. Coot. Coot, a dangerous player. He's almost through here. Supported to try to South Sydney. McCarthy right under the posts. Sitting here, it's hard not to take in just what a spectacular venue this is. Give us a sense of, of what this place was like back then. We'd sit there on the hill and watch the team come out and it was loud, here they come. And when Ronnie and myself started come playing here too, the first time we saw it coming down the race, that hot air coming across that we you, know, you felt when you were a kid, so it really hits you. It was all the time that you'd been on the hill as a kid, you know, watching the watching the the, the, the first graders come out, the Australian team come out, and then you know you'd done it yourself. And you know, there was Churchill and there was Bradman and all those, and that's where they played. Dave Brown. You got to share the That's same yeah. field we're, we're as We're on them. the same field as them and yeah. you go in the dressing room, you see all the famous things up there and you used to sit there and you'd be putting your boots on and one of the great players from South Sides in the 50s would patch on the shoulder and say, have a good game today and you, you know, you bristled up and you thought, yeah, I can't let you down, I'll have a good game, you know. Luckily for us, with the team we had, we played here just about basically every second week, so it was really became a home ground to us. It was just where rugby league was, that was this was the home of rugby league. But look at that pitch. I mean, that's a carpet compared to what you oh, yeah. played on. Well, where, where the cricket pitch used to be, well, when it rained, it actually got all squashy. But then all that squashy stuff, when the sun came out again, made it hard. First tackle there, hit <laughs> this shock and noise, and all of a sudden you look around and someone just took the bark right from their knee yeah. up to the top of their bum, <laughs> off the skin. Oh, oh the shock. When you get in the dressing room after the game and they're scrubbing, they've got the yeah. scrubbing brush, they're scrubbing all the, all, all the hot water on the boys' out. soil out of there because yeah. they get infected. Talking about recovery, a little bit different as well in your day compared to now. I mean, the bar that was in between the home sheds and the away sheds, that was where you congregated immediately after full time. For how many beers do you reckon? Yeah, when, when we played with St George, we had a thing with Chang, Graham Langlands. Yeah. Whoever lost had to drink up the other end. Yeah, right. So if, if they lost, they'd come down our way and we'd have about two or three beers. And then we'd go back to the Cauliflower Hotel and might have a few more there, then go back to South Lee's Club. Girls weren't allowed in there. There was no women allowed here. Then you weren't allowed in. They had to stand outside in the freezing cold with the kids in the prams yeah. and wait till we finished drinking. But imagine you being one singing yeah, can out. Can you imagine? Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> but they, they, they were, we had them well trained, you know what I mean? They just sit there. Oh, be quiet, did you? Be did quiet. you just? Yeah, yeah. Quiet, yeah. Quiet, yeah. the old one too. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you, you, you got three beers in whilst the oh, he might have got four wives in. and children yeah, freeze their butts the freeze off. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, they, 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 they never complained, you know. Yeah. And then I think... Oh, I think they did when you got home. <laughs> <laughs> so after playing many years and having much success together at the Rabbitohs, be honest, Bob, what was the reaction when, when Ronnie decides to go to the Roosters? Well, we didn't like him going, for a start, to anyone. Yeah. And the Roosters, we didn't really have that sort of thing with them, or I didn't, because before Ronnie went to the Roosters, I, they, you know, they're just sort of a fringe of the fringe of the semi-final sort of side. So, so what you're saying is that Ron Coote is responsible for the hatred between the Roosters and he South was. Sydney as it exists now. Well, didn't you hear about the rabbit? Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, he got he got a letter in the mail when he went, went to the Roosters, and this lady said, wrote him a letter and said, we've got a nice little rabbit, nice beautiful little rabbit here, and we call it Cootie. She said, but when you went to the Roosters, we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans haven't changed. They're still as passionate as ever. As ever. And your friendship hasn't changed. No. Right. Rugby league, 
Yeah. And mateship is what it is all about. Sure. Grandchildren. Well, we're friends, our kids are friends, and our grandkids are friends. Yeah. yeah. They knock around together, so uh, it's great. Yeah. yeah. I hope we're around, hope we're around when we get our great, great, great grandchildren.